Hey there, in this video I'm going to show you how to upload and set the settings for the video that you're going to be using for your multimedia story. I'll show you how to add that to your multimedia story page and I'll also show you a little bit about how to edit the subtitles that will eventually appear on your video. I apologize I've sort of lost my voice a little bit this weekend uh, from my from whatever cold I have so please bear with me. Um, to prepare for the video and what you're going to be doing please have YouTube open and please also have your multimedia story uh, page open and lo be logged into your story dot whatever your URL is um, subdomain okay all right so you should all have YouTube accounts uh, with your SJU uh, access to Google so log into your uh, Google Drive and then go to YouTube and you should be able to upload videos to that space. Uh, you will see in the upper right hand corner a create link. You can click on that and go to upload video and you will get this pop-up window. Uh, then what you'll do is you'll find whatever video you're going to be uploading and you can just drag it up here. I'm just going to be uploading a skiing video as a sample for our purposes here, uh, but you will be uploading the uh, interview that you have created. So you'll get this. And while it is uploading, you can now add the details that are you should be adding for your video. So um, under the title, you'll get add a meaningful title. Uh, that is representative of whatever the subject matter you're discussing. Uh, here you should have a description that describes what the narrator is discussing. You should also include a sentence that says that says that the viewer can find the full multimedia story at uh, your link and you can just pop that link right in there okay you can choose a thumbnail for for this whichever one you want. You see that this was a 52 second video uh, and how quickly that it uploaded and is now available for viewing. It's really quite remarkable how fast YouTube does that now. Um, the playlist, you don't have to choose anything for a playlist if you don't want to. I would say no, it is not made for kids. All right, and then you'll click show more. Uh, there is no paid promotion. I would unclick these allow automatic places those are not necessary for tags you might add a tag so I would add skiing and Vermont that's where the skiing was you would add a tag relating to whatever subject is being discussed all right you want to choose the language so you want to choose if the language is English United States uh, caption this content has never aired on television in the United States. Recording date. You can choose a recording date for it. I'll just choose today, but you should choose whatever day it was. I usually choose the location as none. Uh, the standard YouTube license. Choose that. You want to allow embedding because we are going to be embedding it in our multimedia story page. So allow the embedding. And if you want to publish to subscriptions, um, I would unclick that. And I will also click allow, unclick allow people to sample this content. The category, <clears throat> you can keep it at education. And this is my default because this is what I've been doing. So if you, whatever one you think works best, perhaps people and blogs would be the best one for you. Um, and then I would disable comments. And I would also disable show how many viewers like this video. All right. We don't necessarily need comments because you never know if some idiot YouTube troll is going to put something nasty on there. So we'll take those off. Okay. Uh, then we'll click next. 
and we'll just click next again eventually we are going to be adding subtitles but not at the moment it takes a little while for that to happen uh, there's no copyright issues found that's great click next visibility so for your video I would recommend clicking unlisted okay so what this will allow is anyone who knows where the video is and has a link to it will be able to see it but it won't come up in any searches uh, you will also be able to embed it and um, but it won't be able to come up in any searches okay and that I think is key uh, for our for our for what we're doing and then click Save right and then we can go to the video to click on that and you'll see that it's there there it is okay I'm gonna click stop um, and now I'm going to go and I'm going to embed this video in my uh, multimedia story all right so you can see that I have my story set up over here I've got my title I've got a tagline I've got some paragraphs I've got an image already in there just to show you that there can be there I've got a little subheading and I'm going to go and edit the page very easy now since I have the video up higher I'm actually going to go back I like to do my editing a new tab I like to keep the main page open so I can go back and take a look at it so since I have the photo up here I'm going to maybe put the video down below you could choose where you want yours to appear it's perfectly fine and I'm going to go to the visual side let's say I want the video to appear between these paragraphs I'm just going to click return and then I'm going to click add media right here and I'm going to insert from URL and I'm going to go grab the cop copy the URL for the YouTube video and I'm going to paste it in here all right simple as that and the video will appear all right very exciting I'm going to insert it into the page and now it's right there perfect I'm going to click update and then I'll be able to refresh this page because it's already open and there it is right there in the page now um, you'll notice that the positioning of this is a little strange it's sort of broken up these paragraphs here and you might want to have something like this where the paragraphs wrap around wrap around that in order to do that we're going to have to go take a look at the HTML code for a minute under the text heading and you'll notice that here is where we see the embed uh, WordPress has this short code embed closing embed over here um, that it a lot does very easily and so you don't have to grab the embed code from from YouTube now you'll notice that I've on my page I've also got the image sort of pushed off to the right a little bit and what I can do is I can go and add some HTML code to this that will allow me to also have a similar setup for my video and I'm gonna do a float left I want it left this time Not right margin right and I'm going to be providing you with this content margin left and let's say minus here I want it like minus ah, keep it 100 percent okay I'm gonna click update and click refresh now I've got this positioned off to the side okay uh, and I'm going to be providing you with this code on an assignment page uh, on that this video will eventually be embedded in so that you'll be able to do something similar and we'll be doing that in class actually going over this too and working on it and so you can see it's pretty simple to add a video to your H to your WordPress page uh, which is great and all right, so let me show you now how to work with the subtitles. All right.
Now, YouTube automatically creates a transcript uh, for whatever all videos that are uploaded. They do that because of the Americans with Disabilities Act. It requires uh, to have that uh, inclusive design component to it. Uh, the, depending on the length of your video and what's going on over there at YouTube at the moment, uh, it can take anywhere from a couple of hours to a few days for those transcripts to appear. And they are only about 60 to 70 percent accurate. Okay, they usually do not contain punctuation in any way. So in order to go and uh, fix this so that it is, it is accurate, you need to go back to your YouTube page and click on subtitles right here. See, so you'll see it in the sidebar. And you'll want to go and find your video. And again, I don't recommend doing this right away. Come back to it a couple days later. It just needs to be done by the time the final project is submitted. It does not have to be done for your conference this coming week. Uh, so you can click on your video. And you'll see that you can duplicate and edit your subtitles. Click on edit, click on that, and you'll see that the transcript is already right here. But you'll notice that there is no punctuation, there are, and there's probably some inaccuracies throughout. Okay, so you're gonna have to go in and hello, you know, and, and edit everything in this short video, comma. I'm going to be introducing you to the subject of subdomains, and that's one word, so I can make sure that's... And we're going to install WordPress on that subdomain, comma, and then I'm... period. And then I'm going to show you how to link from your main site to your main... okay, period. The reason... It's really quite remarkable that it's any has any accuracy at all considered it's all computer generated and so on um, you can see how these are going to appear hello in this short video i'm going to be introducing you to the subject of subdomains and we're going to install wordpress on that subdomain and then i'm going to show you how to link from your main site to your subdomain in your menu settings Okay. If you need to adjust the timing, you could do that by sliding things around a little bit. But actually, that the timing is usually pretty good for that. But I would just double check. Once you are done, you can click Published, Publish. And those will now be here in a new line. Um, if you wanted to add a title and description for these, you can. If you realize later on that you need to go back and edit them, you can click Edit and that's really all there is to it uh, you would just click edit and you would go through now and it's broken down into this way based on the timing um, but you can also edit as text and and look at like that so you could edit the timings edit as text um, really quite remarkable that it gives you that ability to do that and i can discard the changes i made um, so please have that done by the time your video is completed uh, this is part of the important uh, elements of inclusive design uh, that we have for the class. Just like you have your alt text for your images, you have the transcript when the subtitles are closed captions for your video. Okay, if you have any questions, please let me know. And I'm looking forward to seeing all your work. Have a great day.